Yo, Adam Saxon here with Gyne Cube, and in this video, we're gonna look at what actually happens when we install or push a Power BI app out to other people. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Okay, imagine this scenario. I've published my content to an app workspace, and now I want to actually publish an app out to my organization for users to consume. And when I do that, I go to the access tab, I put in some security groups for people that I want to have access to this, and I also check the checkbox that says install app automatically. And what this will do is it will allow it to automatically show up in the apps area when people go to apps without actually having to get the app themselves. So they just sign in, boom, the app's already there, life is good. The other thing you will probably assume is that if I add a new user to that security group or whatever security group that's part of the access section of this app, that it will just automatically show up for them as well. And it does, but there's some things that you need to be aware of, which is why I'm making this video. This actually came up from a customer discussion that I had, and there was some confusion over what was happening, and I just wanted to let you know what the flow is of what to expect when a new user is added to a security group for an app. So the first thing to be aware of is that the Power BI service itself does not actively monitor the security group membership. So the security group will reside inside of Azure Active Directory, but Power BI is not actually sitting there polling that security group, waiting for you to add someone to it. When a user signs back into Power BI, which can include you know, closing the browser, coming back in, or just refreshing the page, it will actually signal to Power BI to go and look at this user's membership inside of Azure Active Directory. So look at the security groups that this user is a part of. And as part of that, we'll see, hey, did you get any new memberships? And then we check that against the access list for the apps within your tenant. If at that point the service finds a match, it will then trigger to push that app out to your user. The thing to know about this is this is an asynchronous operation. If you don't know what asynchronous is, asynchronous basically just means that it's gonna happen behind the scenes and we're not gonna wait on it. So the opposite of asynchronous would be synchronous, which means we will wait on it. But if we did that, you may see some slowness in the application. So we just send the signal out and it will do its thing and come back whenever it's ready. So that is asynchronous. And because it's asynchronous, this means it could take a little bit of time before it shows up. Typically this will happen very quickly, but what you may find is you sign into Power BI, you go to apps and you don't see the app that should have been there. So you call up IT and you say, hey, I don't have this app, what's up? And IT goes and looks and said, no, you're part of this group membership, the app should be there. And the reason it's not is because things may still be going on behind the scenes. What I was told is it could take as long as 24 hours, but it shouldn't take longer than an hour normally. So here's what you could do. If you sign into Power BI and you expect that application to be in the apps list, what you can do is wait for about an hour and then refresh the page again and see if it shows up at that point. The other option you can do is just go to the get apps link or get data and go to the apps area where you normally would and go ahead and select that app to install it as you would if you know that you should have it if you don't wanna wait. So just know that the app should be there, it just may take a little bit to show up and you may have to refresh the page as it won't necessarily pop up automatically. Have you experienced this behavior where it just didn't show up in the app list even though you expected it to be there? I'd love to know. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.